Hello guys, let's look at form one, end of year, end of term three, examination revision, whereby uh, we shall use double digit trial exam. So the first question is, state the components of a computer system which performs each of the following tasks. Task number one, comparison of numbers, convert data into a computer format coordinate operation of an entire computer. So guys, the comparison of number is done by the part of the central processing unit called arithmetic and logic unit. Then conversion of data into a computer format is done by an input device or an input unit. Then coordination of operations of an entire computer is done by the CU or the control unit. Then we have, uh, we have the next one, the next question. The next question is explain the term system files as used in operating system. So a system file are files that contain information that is very important or critical for the operation of the computer. Then we have risk three common disk management operations performed by the OS or the operating system, we have our three marks. So we have disk defragmentation. This is bringing together scattered files with the aim of increased accessibility and also freeing the space. Then we have disk partitioning. This means subdividing a disk into more than one portion for backup uh, purposes and also for the aim of installing more than one operating system. Then we have disk cleanup. This is deleting unused icons or files. We have disk scanning. This is checking for errors. Then we have disk compression. That one is the aim of freeing uh, disk space. Then we have Peter created folder named English Mathematics and Swahiri in a folder named Studies. In the folder English, he created the folder literature and language uh, with works in Swahiri folder, he created Ruha and Fasihi. Draw a directory tree structure for all the, uh, the, the folders created. So guys, we have our main folder called studies of which it has subfolders called English, Maths and Swahiri. In English, we have two files. We have, uh, we have two folders, the rich chain language, mathematics doesn't have a child. Then we have Swahiri, it has Ruha and Fasihi. So this is the answer you are expected to uh, give. Then give this, uh, given that studies folder is the root directory, of, uh, is in the root directory of drive D, write the path for a file named revision.doc stored in the Ruga or Ruha folder. So we have D full call colon forward slash studies forward slash Swahiri forward slash Ruha forward slash stroke revision dot doc. Then you score your three marks. Then we have question number five. The following is a list of computer output devices. We have speakers, prota, screen projector, touch screen, we have LCD printer. Categorize each of them as either soft copy or hard copy output device. So guys, here uh, we have soft copies, we have speakers, we have LCD projector, or sorry, LCD monitor, we have screen projector and touch screen. Hard copy, we have printer and protas. Question number six, a hard disk of a computer was reported to have crashed. State two control measures that should have been put in place to prevent such an occurrence. Three marks. So number one is proper shutting down of the computer. Number two is use of proper power surge in the computer lab. Number three is use of UPS in the computer lab. Number four is to keep backups. And number five is control dust and dump. Explain, number seven, explain two consequences 
of not uh, restricting use of USB flash drives in the computer lab. Why do you think we should restrict, we should not allow use of flash disks in the computer laboratory? So number one, computer hardware and software may be damaged by viruses. That is a matter of viruses. Students may copy software and games to play in the computer laboratory, uh, therefore distracting lessons. Confidentiality, data can be copied and exposed. Students may use it to copy software leading to copyright infringement. Yeah, you can see uh, there is a very crucial uh, statement there. Number eight, list four. List four input devices. List four input devices. List four input devices used to capture data by way of scanning. So we have the image scanner. We have the OMR, that is op optical mark reader or optical mark recognition. Magnetic ink character reader, that is MICR. We have barcode reader or WAND or optical bar record, that is optical bar reader or ORE, sorry for that, OBR. We have optical character reader or OCR. These are examples of scanners in short. State four, hardware features that may be considered when selecting a laptop computer to be used in school computer laboratory. So we have the size of the screen should be large enough to make the system design reliable. Processor speed, the processor speed must support complex complications involving large volume of data in a short period. It should have memory capacity capable of loading both the database application and data, and data of the ongoing processes. And lastly, on the third question, secondary storage should be large to contain the database program and the data. Question number nine, state four hardware features that may be considered when selecting a laptop computer to be used in school computer laboratory. So when you want to answer such a question, you must read it well. We are being asked about hardware features, so avoid writing software features. The size of the screen, that is hardware, should be large enough to make the system design legible. Processor speed, the processor speed must support complex computation involving large volumes of data in a short period. So you must consider the processor speed, the size of the screen, or the display size. It should have memory capacity capable of loading both the database application and data of the ongoing processes. So here you consider the memory capacity. Then you can also consider secondary storage, like the hard disk, the size of the secondary storage should be large to contain the database program and the data. So those are some of the answers expected. Then you can talk about highlight three health issues that may affect the user after prolonged use of computers. You have eye strain, you have headache, backache, rib fatigue, you can have neck strain and tendonitis. State three ways through which computer components in the laboratory can be protected against theft. So number one is restricting access to the lab so that only accompanied runners access the room. Use of monitoring cameras, e.g. the CCTV. Use of lock to block access to the uh, internal components of the computer. Also imposing, imposing steve penalties to any person who may be involved in theft of, of components or computers. Identify the appropriate uh, computer output device suitable for each of the following tasks. Number one, generating receipts with carbon paper, an architectural drawing where precision is required, producing document output for a visually impaired person. So the first one is 
carbon paper, about carbon papers is impact printers. You have an example dot matrix. To draw architectural drawing, you need a plotter. And for output for visually impaired, you can use speakers because they hear, or you can train them how to use braille. State the function of each of the following keys on the computer keyboard. We have backspace and insert. So what is the work of backspace? It moves the display cursor one position backwards, deletes the character at the position, and shift back the text after that position by one position. Insert. When insert is selected, keys and characters to the screen are, okay, uh, let me come up again. When insert is selected, keys and characters to the screen at the cursor, at the cursor, that is the insertion point, Mm -hmm. Okay, basically what insert does, it allows you to insert text in between where the cursor is without really erasing, not like the type of a mode where it has to erase. We have this diagram, guys. We have the NIC, that is a network interface card. We have the HDD, hard drive. We have RAM, random access memory. ROM, read-only memory. CD drive, that is compact, uh, compact disk drive. Identify two devices that may be used for short, for sorting data for a long duration. Guys, I come up again. Identify two devices that may be used for sorting, uh, for storing, sorry, for storing data for a long duration from the diagram. So we have the hard disk, we also have the read-only memory. Name two peripheral devices that are used for input. We have the scanner and mouse. Give three other input devices that a computer user might wish to add to the setup above in order to perform uh, his tasks efficiently. So when you go to this diagram, we have mouse, scanner, so you can add others like a joystick, a trackball, microphone, digital camera, right pen and stylus, joystick, etc. Number 15, a customer wishes to purchase a computer system. The customer can buy word processor, spreadsheet, database and drawing package separately or as integrated package or suit. State three reasons why the customer would prefer an integrated to separate packages. So number one, the software provides easy movement of data among the separate applications. A common group of commands is used for all the application in the software package. Then you have provides easy switching between functions without having to go back to the operating system and ability to share data between functions. So those are some of the answers, very crucial answers. Then you have ever looked at the back of your system unit, you will see these icons. So the first icon means parallel, the second one means serial, the, the next one means USB, that is a universal serial bus. Then we have this one, this other diagram, it stands for SCSI, that is uh, system, that is uh, system computer, mm -hmm. that is system computer with a small interface. Then we have the PS2 mouse and PS2 keyboard, those are the symbols. Remember, they can be brought in KCC, and then you need to identify them. Outrine, four reasons why it is important to ensure proper cabling in computer laboratory. So number one is to prevent breaking of pins on the ports and cables as VGA. Then we have to prevent general damage of ports 
which might lead to malfunction, to prevent breakage of cables, which lead to malfunction of devices, to prevent short circuits, and also to prevent tripping on poorly laid cables. Then we have state four power related problems that can occur in a computer laboratory. So we have blackouts, uh, transients, we have power surge or over voltage, we have power surge or brownouts, we also have short circuits. Differentiate between serial and parallel cables as used in computers. A parallel cable uses multiple wires and can transmit data simultaneously, whereas a serial cable uses one wire and transmit one data at a time, but at a very high speed. Number five, name, that is uh, part C, sorry, part C of question 17. Name four cables other than those in 17 above that are used to connect computer with the devices. We have um, VGA cable, PS2 cable, we have USB cable, we have DVI cable. Then we proceed to question number 18. For each of the foreign computer generations, state the technology and storage mechanism used. So we have the generation, we have the technology used, we also have the storage, uh, that is storage device used. First generation used vacuum tubes or the myonic valves and it used magnetic drum memory. Second generation used transistors and were using magnetic core memories or tapes. Integrated circuits, that is the, the, that, they used magnetic disks, very large scale integrated circuits. They used magnetic, they used magnetic disks or optical disks, and also they used uh, the technology used was very large scale integrated circuits or microprocessor. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember you can uh, download copies of these uh, materials I use from my website. The URL or my website address is just below this video. Guys, uh, just get me more subscribers from your area. Thank you very much.